Hello everyone, my name is Sina Onari and I'm presenting Recombinator Networks. This is a joint work with Jason Yusinski, Pascal Wanson and Christopher Pal from Miller Lab in University of Montreal. The problem that we address here is key point or landmark detection. So given a face image, we want to localize the important locations such as eye centers, nose, tip and mouse corners. Uh, so the question here is that uh, usually in convolution networks we have alternating convolution and pooling layers. So due to usage of max pooling layers, we end up with robust features, but we lose exact spatial information. For example, on the top, if we use a lot of uh, uh, max pooling layers, we roughly know where is the left eye, but we lost the exact information where the left eye came from because we use many pooling layers. On the other hand, if we use uh, convolutional layers, only convolutional layers, we keep a spatial information, but we don't have robust features. For example, here on the bottom, you can see that we have all the spatial information on the image, but we have a lot of false positives. So all the regions of white have high probability. For example, here, the right eye also have a, has a high probability, and if we use that for prediction, we end up with wrong predictions. So the question is, is there a way to take advantage of uh, robust pool features and at the same time keep a special information? There are a couple of networks that address this issue. We refer to them as Thumbnet. So given an input image at the bottom, you can see that we only have convolution layers. So they have the issue of not robust features. Now, if we add the pooling layers by going to the top, we end up with coarser resolution, but then we can still upsample the features back to the image resolution. And as we have more and more branches here, for example, here we have four branches, we end up from bottom to the top, uh, from finer to coarser resolution, we can still upsample the features back to the image resolution and finally get a weighted average. So we refer to this line of research as Sumnet, uh, and uh, fully convolution networks and hypercolumn that were presented last year in CVPR are in this line of research. So what we propose here that we call recombinator networks is that instead of upsampling features to the image resolution, we simply upsample the features back to the resolution right before the pooling. So at the end of each branch, we upsample the features and we concatenate them with the features right before the pooling layer and we feed that back to the next branch. And we do that all the way to the finest branch, which is at the very bottom. So by doing this, we allow the network to learn whatever features it finds useful and learn on its own the features that it wants to pass to the final branches. So this leads to much faster convergence, meaning lower turning time and better results. You can also think of it as conditional computation, where the finer branches at the bottom are conditioned on the coarser branches at the top. So we finally take the output of the finest branch, which is at the very bottom of the network, and use that for prediction. So here are uh, the pre-softmax maps that we get from our model, uh, RCN, compared to the Sumnet model. You can think of it as a sort of property distribution for the left eye, for example. You can see that uh, our model for the left eye gives the right distribution and also crashes, for example, the right eye. Compared to the Sumnet model, we don't have the black effects that you can see there. And we can simply take the, uh, the maximum location, which is the highest probability for our prediction. And uh, finally, here you can see some examples of our prediction compared to the previous models, such as uh, TCDCN, which was the previous state of the art, when we have high contrast and also occlusion. Uh, our model is capable of uh, uh, detecting the key points when there is occlusion and high contrast, and we get new state of the art on three facial key point datasets. So come to our poster number 48 for more details. Thank you very much.